<laughs> Somebody come look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Forget this, man. All the video contains scenes of graphic creatures that may not be suitable for some audience. Viewer discretion is advised. Yo, what's poppin' guys? Out here, taking a little hike, taking a break from all the smog and pollution and everything else, and into all the dust and everything. <laughs> yeah, so we're up here at Bear Canyon Trailhead, Cleveland, whatever, National Forest. And we're gonna go try to survive this hike like we do everything else, right? Look at this view, bro. I got my bang, give me that bang of energy. That was corny, I know, but check this view out, dog. It's dope. Like I said, hopefully we don't get mauled by no tigers. Mauled by no tigers. What the fuck? Bitches, you drunk? <laughs> Bears, whatever, what have you. And I was just about to go down that way too. I wonder if they have poison ivy here, dog. I'm not trying to get itchy or whatever it is poison ivy does to you. What's that? Where are we at? Oh, we're right here. Mm -hmm. You are here. What? There's mountain lions on this trail. We just might get, it says, if you should get encountered by a lion, do not approach the lion. Duh, right? Do not crouch down. Do not run or make certain moves. Stand tall. Make yourself look as big as possible. That's gonna suck if you like five, too. Shut your mouth! Oh, they do. They have, it's not poison ivy, but they have poison oak. See, this is probably poisonous. This looks like, doesn't it look poisonous? Nope. Wonder if. I wonder if Tim ever made it back. Alright guys, you guys are a witness. We were here. The incline is already kicking in on me. Felt like a fat person taking his first step. Stop it! Cut it out! Look, we can already see the top of some cars. Pretty cool. How high does this thing go? I guess we're gonna find out. Is it wrong that I'm kind of hoping we see that mountain? He would make some good footage. Oh, look at that GT86. Let me see if I can catch him. Hurry, hurry, hurry. No. Dude, he had like a massive wing on him. It wasn't me. Behind the scene footage, what y'all don't see. We actually go back and get the stuff. Look, it's moss, guys. According to Spongebob, land should be that way. Let's go. You think we should have left like a trail of something going back? I think we're lost. Guys, we've been walking for 30 minutes. I think Spongebob lied to me. My whole childhood is a lie now. I gotta take a break. Get some of this water real quick. It's kinda warm out today. Y'all hear that? Not on my watch. Nah, y'all gonna have to send a helicopter to get me out of here. All right, guys, we're just enjoying. Man, it got windy real quick, huh? We're enjoying the last bit of the hike. Check out this view, though. Words to add, JK? Words of wisdom? No? Dog treats? Please, and water? Alright guys, I'm out. So, oh, what's poppin' fam bam? Welcome back to the channel. I'm super, 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 that's how, that's how excited I am, dude. I'm almost stuttering. I'm super excited to show you guys the install we got planned for today. But before we get into that, dude, we got some, we gotta chat it up, bro. We got the soupy right here. You guys know it's been under construction. So I wanna let you guys know the condition it's in, what's been going on, everything else, why there's no pictures on Instagram, yada, 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 all that good stuff, guys. So, so as you guys see, I went on a little hike cause I just had to find myself, bro. And on that hike, I was like trying to search on like what I wanna do with the Subi 
and like all the deep thoughts dude that come to your head when you're on the toilet Bruh. all i could just like all that just kept coming to my mind all i could think about bro was like dang i really gotta take a dump but then after that i did get the epiphany about the subi and what route i want to take it just got tired of the look i was going for i felt like that look has been done so many times with so many different subarus that whole track and gt style i don't know i just felt like this this is the right way to go and i'm gonna go this way i think you guys will like it too hopefully you guys like it i'm putting my heart and soul into it but yeah anyhow so the whole thing with the with the trunk guys is when i had the gt wing on there bro like i didn't even care i just literally just drilled holes like i wasn't thinking like uh you know how i'm gonna cover these holes up or what if i want to put my sti wing back on or any other what if i wanted to go wingless bro i couldn't and i didn't think about that so when i did take it off i was like dang i'm screwed but I took it to a body shop, local body shop uh, near my house. He did all the work and yeah, painted it, everything came out clean. I'm happy with it. Long story short guys, the Subi's going in a total different direction, which I think you guys will enjoy. But yeah, on to the install. Raggy? Is that Scooby? I'm sorry guys, That's a, that, that was a terrible impression of Scooby. Don't click off, please. Anyhow, yeah, guys, I was finally able to obtain some Subi Speed tail lights, bro. I'm so excited. Let me show you guys the ones I got really quick. All right, so off the bat, Subi Speed, you guys, this box is total trash. Like, it came falling apart. I don't know if that's like one of your perks of ordering. But yeah, and there they are, guys. So beautiful, so amazing. I got the red with the white sea light, as you guys can see. These things are just so fresh, dude. Like, jeez. Like, let me show you. You guys a little. Can you see that? Bam. Hey, that's crazy, huh? I figured if I'm gonna upgrade my tails, I might as well go all out and change and swap out the uh, third brake light, guys. There she is, guys. Look at that. Let me take it out of the package so you guys can appreciate it a little bit more. Dang, ain't she beautiful? Right, right, right. Show you guys. Look at that triple threat combo, guys. Tell me I'm not gonna kill him. Tell me, just tell me. Tell me, no, seriously, tell me before my heart breaks, bro. Like, I put it all on, and then I show up to the show, and like, no one likes it, seriously. Anyhow, guys, time to stop flapping my gums. Time to get the wrench, throw these in. Let's go. Alrighty, so you guys pretty much probably already have like all this um, paneling or whatever you call it. You know, the plastic stuff that goes in the back, uh, makes your car look beautiful. I took mine out because I'm always messing with my stuff, so it's pretty much a hassle to be keep trying to pull those stupid clips from hell out. <laughs> easy access I can get to my stuff so what we have it looks like is about one two and we have a little guy down here that makes three screws that's what I believe is holding in the light I don't think these two down here play a big part but I don't know we're gonna go ahead and just dive right into it take these three off all right guys so these little guys right here are eight millimeters so i got my little ratchet the one time dude i never i bought this thing thinking i was gonna use it all the time and i own this is this is the one in appointed time that's coming in handy right now dude all right so see this little white guy right here just go ahead and yank him all she said. Well, don't yank him because he's connected to something, but you're gonna need to pop him off as easy as you can, like so. there and it has like as you can see like a little sliding part right there that's our rather uh, where it clips on at so you want to make sure you get that on there and then everything should be just good dude I'm already just loving the look of this bro like 
this looks incredible like why couldn't subaru give us this in the first place dude like really all right so i'm gonna go ahead and throw the passenger side in and i'll get right back with you guys all right guys so i'm losing my light as you can tell so we're gonna go ahead and hurry up and throw that brake light in and we should be good all right so underneath you have some clips which i've already taken mine off pretty much you got one right here uh i don't think there's any over there got one that just dropped out that's right right around there and i believe that's it there's just really two that are holding it in and yeah that's it that should loosen up this part so you can actually reach your hand in there and start unbuckling stuff Normally I would just swap out the bulbs that are right here, but as you can see, this one is LED, so things are a bit different. The wiring is different. It's not an actual bulb in here. So, uh, looks like I'm gonna have to do some wiring. I didn't want to, but I guess that's how it goes, right? Let's get it done. All right, so I have most of the wiring connected to, I believe this side of the tail light. So I'm gonna go ahead and get underneath here, see if I can pull the wires up and get them connected to the new one all right guys so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and use some quick splicing if you guys don't know what that is there's tons of tutorials on youtube but it's like the easiest way and safest ways to tap into your wiring system and everything so all right guys so this is the harness side i got all the plugs tapped in on here i'm just gonna connect them now to the light and we should be good to go guys so I got the clips on just time to throw them in all right guys so I'm sorry about the terrible lighting but let me give you guys a quick wiring diagram so you're not struggling and panicking like I was a few minutes ago yeah make it a lot easier for you guys you can thank me by hitting that like button I appreciate it all right, so if yours so happens to look like mine, that I got the Ferrari colors going, the red, green, and white, and a black, but uh, anyways, so this is how it's gonna go. The white, your white wire is your reverse wire, and it's gonna connect to the brown and yellow striped wire. Uh, the red wire is your obviously your positive. I connected that to, uh, as you can see, the white, the candy cane striped wire, the red and white one. Uh, the green is, your fog or the daytime running one. And I connected that to, if you can see that, the brown wire. And then the black, obviously, to the black wire. That's your ground. And it should be good. Let me know if you guys have any questions or concerns. But yeah, I powered it up. Worked good. I'll give you guys a little showcase of it. Gorilla. All right guys, so that concludes the install video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and smash up that like button for me one time. Bro, we got tons of more stuff coming on the Subi. The Subi is in phase one right now. I'm so happy to have completed that, the rear part of it. Looks good, looks perfect, but we got more to come. So stay tuned, hit that subscribe button if you haven't. That's it guys, I'm out, peace.